time to go hang out with people. What? What am I? I was going to say, what am I doing? I just said what I was going to do. Let me fix this microphone. Quick, quick, a little fix microphone. I'll fix it. Yeah, I'll fix it. Put it. Put a pie and all the little bullshit. Uh, so what are we going to do? We're going to hang out with, um, we're going to hang out with Mekon, which I don't know where the fuck she's at. Uh, First Island? Mekon, where are you? Are you anywhere? Oh, wait, no, she'd probably be at the hospital, right? Hold up, where the fuck is the hospital? No, Third Island. This is the, no, you know, which one's the hot, this hospital, right? No, music venue, hospital. Yeah, okay, there we are. She's in the lobby. She's in the lobby. And slow ass turn radius. Radius? Turn sensitivity, whatever the fuck. Camera sensitivity. Gotta hang out with Mekon before, hopefully before she bites the dust. Because we all know she's gonna, she's gonna bite the dust. I'm sorry, I have zero, I have zero faith that she is going to survive this killing game. Anyways, I'm so glad we found a hospital. The drugstore has plenty of medicine, so now we can treat most, uh, most, uh, I mixed the word most and more. <laughs> I said most. Who, who ordered roast most? Anyways, we can treat most injuries and illnesses. What should I do? Should I invite her to hang out? Yes. Are you not feeling well? Then I'll take a look. <laughs> and she does this crazy laugh. Don't hold back. Please show me your body. Oh. Girl, touch my body. Anyways, I spent time today running away from Mekon attempts to examine me. She tried to poke me and prod me with a bunch of needles and shit. I was like, I ain't having that. Uh-uh. It looks like Mekon and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. Well, I have like 50 Mr. Staplers now, right? Right? That's what happened? Where the fuck is Stapler? Mr. Stapler! I'm pretty surprised that you have something like this. But for some reason, I feel a little closer to you. Um, are you gonna talk to me again today? Mikan must be slowly opening up to me if she's, if she's actually asking me like that. Regardless, I still feel nervous trying to think about something to talk to her about. Uh, I'm sorry. I lost control of myself and said whatever I wanted. No, no, it's fine. Ask someone if they want to talk. It's totally normal. But you were making a face like there's nothing to talk to her about. She's pretty perceptive. Changing the subject probably won't work on her. Just as I thought. I'm a nuisance. No, it's not true. That's not true, me girl. You know that ain't true. I was worrying about what to talk to you about. But I wasn't bothered by that or anything. Besides, if I thought you were a nuisance, I would've never talked to you to start! Ha <laughs> What? Damn. Uh, no one's ever said that to me before. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Looks like she finally understands what I was trying to say. Uh, can I ask you about something? Uh, yeah, don't mind. Hajime, do you like school? You mean before I entered Hope Peaks Academy? Let's see, I didn't really like it or hate it. Well, actually, I don't think I liked it that much. I feel the same way. <laughs> this is my first time feeling th feeling things like fun. I felt that for the first time ever I met- wait, what? I'm, I'm still kind of confused. First time you ever felt fun? It's bullshit. I felt that for the first time after I met you. Well, right now we're not really at school, even so. We're all working together and focus on the same goal. For the first time, I learned that that's very fun. Hajime, I'm glad I came to this island because we're in a situation everyone is finally acknowledging me. And I'll finally feel useful. Thanks to the irrational, hopeless, dangerous situation. I never I never thought I'd meet someone who actually thought about our situation like that. Hey, Hajime, do you know where you should target someone if you want to effectively torture them? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, Mekon, we, we, out of the blue, if you want to torture them, like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? It looks like I really have to answer this, uh, well, I mean, if you want to torture them, I assume there's a lot of valuable shit in the stomach, and I mean, any wounds to the head kind of bleed a lot, so you wouldn't really, I don't know, I don't know, where the fuck would you go? There's no way I'd know that, 
It's simple, you can target anywhere, really. As long as you avoid fatal areas like the head and stomach. Oh, see, well, I guess I got it on the right. On the, I got it right on the first go. On the first a go-go. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to fix something up real quick. Anyways, uh, where was it? There are areas that aren't fatal but still very painful, such as shoulders and back. I agree. You can punch and kick those areas or even put cigarettes out on them. This sounds very personal, Mikan. Are you okay? Repeatedly. Over and over. But right now, at the very moment, nobody is trying to do that to me. Huh. Because of that, this place is like heaven to me. Mikan. Hajime, this is the first time I ever talked about my feelings like this with someone, so... Please don't hate me. I won't. I'll never hate you, girl. There's no way I'll ever hate you. Thank you. It's not your fault. It's not Mikan's fault. That definitely for certain. No matter what anyone says, there's no denying it. As I watched Mikan smile, I kept telling myself that over and over in my mind. Huh, shit has been added to report card. I parted ways with Mikan and I returned to my room by myself. It's still bright outside. There's no way I should just stay in my room. It might be good to talk to everyone whenever I have the time. Free time! Anyways, uh, I keep pressing triangle for some reason sometimes, like randomly. I'm thinking triangle's like the menu button, but it's fucking square, which is stupid. Uh, report card. Report a cardo. What do we got? Okay. Mikan thinks that the island is like heaven because there's no one here to hurt her. You know, besides the little, besides, besides this stupid girl. Anyways, uh, I'm sure it's not her fault she ended up like this. Oh man, Mikan, I just want to protect you. I have to mamaru my waifu. That's what I have to do. Anyways, uh, we're almost done with Mikan's thing, so I mean, we might as well just. Might as well go for the whole circle, am I right? Where's Mikan? Hey Mikan, you in your, you in your room? That's cool. I'm gonna go and visit. I'm gonna go and say hi. We're gonna make a friend today. Ding dong. Ding dong. Yes. Hello. The milkman has arrived yet again today. Wow, you got a bunch of medicine in here and shit. What is that? What is that for breast cancer? What is this? It's not pink, but I mean, she's part of the Red Ribbon Army. She's holding out on us. I leveled up for some reason. Ah, oh, Hajime, what are you doing? Why are you in my room? What should I do? Should I invite her to hang out? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go visit the library. Would you like to come too? There's some medical books there that I was thinking about studying. I spent time today learning basic facts about medicine and shit. Did you know that you can put a band-aid on a cut and it won't heal, but it will make it better? It looks like me kind of grew a little bit. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. Would you like to give her? I would like, as our commemoration of our long, beautiful, prosperous friendship, I would like to give her. I would like to give her the ball gag. Here you go. Really? She's into that type of shit? For me? Thank you. It's been a while since anyone gave me something for free. I'm so happy. What the hell, Mikan? I think I'm in love with you. Thank you, Hajime. Her silence seems different than usual. She looks like she's staring into space. Hey, Mikan, is something wrong? Oh, uh, Hajime, when did you... I've been talking to you for a while now. Really? Oh, I'm sorry for saying something so rude. You're mad, right? You normally get mad right now, right? No, there's no way I ever get mad about something like this. Is that normal? Why? Why isn't anyone pouring water on me? Or throwing mud at me? Does everyone hate me or something? Is that why everyone isn't doing anything to me? You're still talking like that? Damn, girl, you probably got some crazy-ass trauma going on in your life. It's not like that, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's not like that. Everyone isn't doing anything to you because they don't hate you. But does that mean that they actually don't care whether I exist or not? Nobody cares about me. Aw. Nobody loves me. Maybe that's what scares me con the most isn't violent or being hatred. Maybe it's when nobody is interested in her at all. I see, so that's why Mikan's been trying to avoid that no matter what. I can't believe I finally realized that. What's wrong with me? Hey Mikan, of course everyone cares about you. 
because you're uniquely you. Stop looking at people's faces all the time and try looking at yourself more. And look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh my god, look at that, yo, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. Anyways, <laughs> would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> Take a step back and pay more attention to your surroundings and to yourself. Because you're just like everyone else. You're all, you are our friend. I have, I have a hard time saying the word our. You're our friend. Huh? Friend? You friend zone me, motherfucker? Really? Is this what's happening right now? Get put in the friend zone zone? Damn. Me and everyone else. Isn't that... Is that even possible? What? That's what I believe. You don't believe me? No, 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 of course I do. Thank you very, very much. I want to believe in you. Because you are the person who gave me this. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Why did I read that? That's not what it says. You're the person who has forgiven me. I know it's difficult to change all at once, but I really want her to change little by little. That's what I felt when I looked at Mikan's smile. I can feel a real strong bond between Mikan and myself. Your social link has maxed up. Thou has now acquired the power of the Devil Arcana. I don't fucking know. If possible, I'm gonna watch over her just a little longer, even after we leave this island. Because it's not Mikan's fault at all. Compito Des. Mikan's report has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill Silent Message. I mean, uh, not not message. Massage. Massage? Misogyny. Anyways, give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Yeah, well, you know what? I'll do that. I'll give myself a pat on the back. You obtained the pre- What the fuck is this? You obtained the present Mikan's undergarments. You can now check in- Okay. I, what? What? Guys, we just made it to the friend zone. I mean, what the hell just happened? Anyways, after an enjoyable conversation with Mikan, I went back to my room. That, mm, that, okay. That's crazy. Ding dong, bing da bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. It's not like I have anything I need to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay. I have a peaceful day like this for a change. And then in the middle of the night, someone got my Oh, the Monokuma Theater, my favorite program. It's a waste of time to consistently worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing meaningless, uh, meaninglessly, me meaningless, Min mm. I'm not saying why. I, oh, fuck! It's wrong with me. I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget. They all end up becoming nostalgical memories eventually. So, isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way to dealing with that worry? What the fuck? <laughs> Do your best at worrying about things and kill time. What the fuck just happened? I just felt like... Did my brain just get fucked? Is that what just happened? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an Oh my god, how the fuck did you get in my room? What is good with you, girl? Good morning! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Really? Isn't that Monokuma's line? What the fuck, girl? What's wrong with you? Hey, what a huge success! I received such a nice reaction! Ibuki! How the fuck you get in here? Jeez, Hajime, you're so careless! Careless? I made sure I locked that door! And I destroyed that worthless lock. Wow, breaking and entering. Nice job. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit turned around on Ibuki right now. She's that good, she's that good type of, uh, good type of, uh, of kind of crazy, you know? Why'd you destroy it? Man, who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. What? Uh, four hands. 
Wait, what? What the fuck just happened? She's like, heh, 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 four hand. What the hell? Anyways, no, that was just three. Ah, if I give you time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. <laughs> I'll explain the details there. So I'm counting on you. She's like a hurricane. That homegirl be rocking me sometimes. Like a hurricane. Anyways. But she didn't take uh didn't. But she did take the time to come all the way here to my cottage to summon me. Like a fucking like a Pokemon. Did something bad happen again? I feel a little depressed now. I mean if something bad happened, then I don't think she'd be all happy about it. Right? Unless she was the murderer. Oh man, I'm you know what? I'm I'm really with, with more and more people going down for the count, I'm starting to think, I'm, I'm questioning, like, who's actually going to survive this? What? You're still here? Somebody locked that man up. Somebody locked that boy back up. He don't deserve to be walking around trying to stab you in the back with Mukuro's rusty blades. Oh, hey, Sonya. What's up, girl? Oh, Cheeky's not here. That's a first. Good day. Good morning, I'm so glad today is another clear sunny day. Another? More like... Actually, now that you mention it, ever since we came to this island, it has rained once. I mean, it did rain once, didn't it? Didn't like thunder clouds come on or sure. Boom, boom, boom. Hey guys, fuck your happiness. Why is that? No, it might be best if I don't think about it too, de too deeply. Alright, Tom Seawoody Bookie won and went my life. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was everyone's back as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened, guys? As I say that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. Oh! I got something I want to say. It's Punish Snake. Venom Snake. What's up? Snake. What took you so long? For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Oh no, I, th I just realized something. Something, 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 something that's really bad. I'm like, I'm like, why is it so hard to hear the voices? Put this shit down, boy. What you doing? What you doing? Well, he shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced boo you he Oh. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. You fiend. Just what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing really, just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. Especially when homeboy was about to break it down like hammer time. He said, wait, stop. Hammer time. Anyways, and yet, I feel like there was the first time Fihiko ever greeted- I mean, yeah, kind of is. He never really formally introduced himself. <laughs> huh, that eye patch of yours. Man, so I guess you, uh, you, you got fucked up. Nothing. Uh, it's nothing. There's no way that's nothing, since that eye is no longer... So you can't see out of it? Uh, huh. Huh, it's only one eye, besides... Don't I look like I've gained some pro uh, prestige or something? Homeboy said, yo, I'm max prestige. Look at me. Look at me now. However, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Yeah, I mean, Hayako kind of. If anyone deserves to be mad at this boy, it is her. Ha Hayako? Yeah. Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiru's dead. No, not just Mihiro. Peko died because of you, too. Hey! It's all your fault. Oh. Uh, Hayako, we finally was able to get everyone together. And? Uh, so, what if, uh, what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up! There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's my fault that those two are dead you you are planning your plan is something man boy you are man you sus you ain't planning you planning something over there 
man plan to just give you your so what attitude i that's not as he squeezed out those words for you he goes suddenly and collapsed to the ground Come on, Hayako. Homeboy's on the ground. He's like, he's like, yo, come in outside, please, girl. Please, just take, take me lightly. No, I don't think that at all. Oh shit! What's happening? Why are you bleeding? This is. Ah! It's blood! It's blood! Fihiko, ah! he slid his own side. What? He slid his own stuff. I guess that's a Yakuza apology instead of losing a pinky, right? Huh? What? You saying you cut? He cut open his own freaking stomach? What? The? What? What are you doing? Damn, homeboy just. Ooh, he ain't. You ain't looking so hot for you, Hika. Half-assed apology. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a voice line. I wasn't paying attention. Can I get that again? Round two. Round two. Round two. Oh. Oh. No round two? Okay. I can't replay it. It's not Persona. But if I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. You fool? That doesn't mean you should slice your own stomach. We must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. You're right. Kazuchi, let me a hand. Yeah, sure thing. Stop it. I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk. Uh, even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again. Uh, I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Who cares about that? The others cared for Yuhiko out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there... Yeah, you feel bad now, don't you? You feel really bad. He said, he said, repent for your sins! Uh, and he cut himself open. Well, this is awkward, especially for you. How should I start up a conversation? Yeah, be like, yeah, so that homeboy starts spilling like a gusher? Damn. Well? Hey, Hayako, I've been thinking about this for a while, but... What would Mahiru say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? What would Mahiru say? What would Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... She'd probably get mad. Really, really mad. I'm sorry, I got the low kid voice. It's definitely not possible, and there's no way it would be that easy to move on. Well, we never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey! Oh my god. <laughs> Every time you're on the screen, I just want you to go fucking kill yourself. Anyways, this is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does everyone know where Akane is? Yeah, you're right. Huh? Huh? Now that you mention it, she is gone. It's so strange for her to not join us for- Yeah, you're right too! How do I not realize this? Hmm, mm, I have a bad feeling about that too. Uh, uh Akane's fine. She's probably, you know, I don't know, doing some push-ups or something. She, she's, that stu she's that stupid person that's gonna survive in the end. I, I can feel it. I can feel the aura come off of her. What is my dog doing? My dog is like, hey, go sit the fuck down. Stop scratching up my shit over there. Anyways, uh, I mean, she hasn't been acting a little weird these past few days. How She's always weird. Uh, but I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. I'm worried about Hayako a little bit, too, to be honest. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that happened. 
But I should put the feelings aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for as uh whatever the fuck. You know, free time. Alright, so we hung out with Mekon. We're pretty good over over there in that department. Time to see who else we can hang out with who isn't dead. We have Nagito, which I hung out with him once before we realized he was a crazy psychopathic son of a bitch. Anyways, uh, Byakia, Gundam, because I kind of do want to hang out with Kazuchi a little bit more, to be honest. He's dead. Nekamaru, hung out with him once. Uh, Fuyuhiko, we should hang out with Fuyuhiko at least once, now that he's friendlier. Kane, Chiyuki, uh... Golden Star. Let me see. The focus gauge recovers at a faster rate, effective during the non-stop debate, the Hagman's Gabin, and the pen. Okay, that's pretty good. Ibuki. Eh, maybe it's because I'm a guy, but I'm interested in all the ladies. Anyways, yeah, let's hang out with Kazuchi. I wanna. People I really wanna hang out with. To be honest, I'm a little interested in Naito, but I really don't give a fuck. Gundam, I don't give a fuck. Kazuchi, I'm interested. Uh, Nekmar, not really. Fuhiko, interested. Akane, interested. You know, the rest, of, yeah, the rest of them, I'm kind of interested, you know? But, uh... But we just got done hanging out with a female, so let's hang out with one of the males. Uh, Kazuchi or Fuhiko? Mmm... Um, you know, let's wait till Fuhiko gets out of the hospital. The hospital. I got eight fragments. Let's see what we can buy. Trigger happy. Trigger happy havoc. Decrease delay between uh, fire and butcher. Ooh. Actually, that's very useful. I will take that. Thank you. Yeah. And algorithm. Increase the speed of. Oh, that's pretty good too, actually. Alright. Um, let's go hang out with Kazuchi. Do I have any presents that he would like? I mean, it doesn't even matter. Because I don't have any money. So, yeah. Uh. I can just fast travel to him, right? That's a thing that we can do now. That's Gundam's place. Hmm. Nagito's over there. Let's avoid him for the most part. Uh, let's check Electric Town, right? I assume he would be in there. No, that's the music venue. This is Electric Ave. Yeah, he's there. He's totally there. All right. Oh no, not not there. Move theater. Electric Ave. You gotta move it. It's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. I'm gonna do the electric slide. I'm gonna need you, need you, need you. Hey, I got some coins. That's cool. Alright, Kazuchi, what is up, my boy? Hey, hey. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. I never thought I'd seen an actual Simpuku. And the splatter, man, the splatter get splattered everywhere. It said gush all over the fucking walls. Uh, I seriously didn't need to see that. What should I do? Should I invite him to hang out? Yeah, let's hang out, man. You're pretty cool. The accusers are pretty. Yakuzis. The yakuzis are pretty annoying, huh? I'm so glad I just. I'm just some commoner. I am considered a civilian. I spent time today chatting with Kazuchi. Looks like Kazuchi and I grew closer. By the way, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong the whole entire time. Uh, give him a present? Sure. What would you like to give him? I would like to give him something machine-like. Would you like some Viva Ice? Viva La Ice? Uh, display message. Um, I was going to, uh... I was going to see if I can check his likes and dislikes again. I don't remember what he likes. I think he likes, like, soda or something like that, right? Another hope. Now, let's see. Uh, would he like headphones? Hmm, no, I think that's more of a Chiaki thing. A uh, small degenerated reactor. Powerful organization used nuclear fish repeated this. Uh, it's a machine. You like this, right? Are you serious? Huh? You serious? You're seriously gonna give me that? Engines ready. Crap! I'm starting to get really excited. Man. Ah, oh, jeez. Why aren't there any vehicles with engines on this damn island? 
At this rail, take everything. A go-kart, RC toys, a baby carriage. What? Baby carriages have motors? Yeah. Just like, just let me tinker with anything. Baby carriages don't have engines. Aw, man. There's nothing I can dissemble, so I took apart the alarm clock in my room. And when did I... <laughs> and when I did that, I couldn't put it back together. Oh, so there are times even the ultimate mechanic can't fix something. Of course, that sort of thing happens to me all the time. One time I was tinkering around without thinking, and before I realized, I made some kind of car thing. <laughs> For some reason, the things I fix always end up being some kind of vehicle. I don't understand that at all. Uh, I don't mind messing around with the frame or connecting the electrical equipment. But guys definitely need something with a rumble and a some bam bam bam. Hey, Ajime, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I really want right now. Hey, man, that back the fuck up. Uh, a refrigerator? A hair dryer. Do you want an engine? You seem like you want an engine. You're talking about an engine, right? That's what you want to mess with? Of course. Well, I, I did just give you a nuclear reactor, so you can enjoy that. That's right! It's exactly it. Disassemble, reassemble, so how, uh, see how it goes? Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Doing that over and over again gets my brain moving. <laughs> uh, I really miss the smell of oil. You're right. I haven't really smelled anything like that since we came to this island. But even if there was a car here, you couldn't drive it since you don't have a driver's license, right? How There's no way I'd do something annoying like that. I just get motion sickness anyways. <laughs> I... Wait, that doesn't make any sense to me. You, the only thing you end up fixing is vehicles that you have motion sickness? What kind of bullshit is this? I just really like the feeling of an engine running. I like all kinds of machines, but vehicles are definitely the best of best. After all, they look so awesome. Man, I really want to go home soon and start working on my bike again. Oh, you never, uh, you ever made a bike? Ah. My dream machine is also uh, is seriously awesome. You know, according to my calculations, it has a top speed of 585 miles per hour. <laughs> Man, I really miss tinkering with that thing. <laughs> oh, but it obviously won't be street legal. And since I get motion sickness, I can't ride it anyways. What's the use of making a ride that you can't even use? I don't understand that at all. Dude. Hope fragments. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it good. After talking with Kazuchi some more, I went back to my room. And I was like, man, that boy is weird. That's a weird boy over there. Still bright outside. Got plenty of time. You know, hang out before our next murder. The way everything's going after this right here is probably going to be a, a hot murder on the, on the job real soon. Anyways, uh, now we can hang out with one of the, the kiddos. By kiddos, I mean the females. I don't know why I said kiddo. That's weird. Um. Well, I want to hang out with Mikan because she's cool and she's probably the most likely to die next. So out of the females, who's the most likely to die next? I believe Akane is probably going to make it because she's so stupid. Uh, Chiki. Maybe she'll make it. Who knows? Um, Sonya. Ah. You, you're probably not going to make it. You seem like someone who wouldn't survive this. Uh, and Ibuki, Ibuki probably won't make it either. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll hang out with the little lowly girl. Why not? Let's hang out with Hayako. Uh, where is she? Cheeky's in there. Uh, we'll have time for Cheeky. Tiki will probably survive, most likely. Uh, where the fuck is she again? I didn't even, like, I just saw that her icon lit up. What is this place? This is the beach. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Hayako. What's up? Hiyoko. I wonder what my hero would do. What should I do? Yeah, let's hang out. You must be really bored. I spent time today being verbally abused by Ayako, but she seemed less abusive than usual. 
It looks like Hayaka and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. I don't know what the fuck she would like. Probably something traditional, right? Uh, you want coconut juice? Well, baby, want the coconut juice? Get little baby. Um, potato chips. Potatoes? Um, let's see. Give her something. Something a kid would enjoy. <laughs> no gag ball. <laughs> the fuck? Oh man, I can't believe Miko actually liked that thing. Wait, what is this? Flip switch on the bottom and doll shake, and apparently it's. Yeah, yeah here you go. <laughs> oh, she don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hajime forced this weird thing onto me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, so me. Hey. Hey Hajime. I've been thinking this ever since I met you, but would you get mad if I say it? I'm not gonna get mad every time you say something to me. I see. Then I'm gonna say it. Um. um I've been thinking this ever since I first met you. Yeah. You have a shady looking face, and you look like the kind of person who's too lazy to try hard. And not only that, I think you're so hopeless for coming after me like some pedo pervert. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, well. Damn. That's kind of harsh. If you think I have a shady looking face, well, I guess I can let that slide. But you better not take. But you better take. You better not take back the last part. What the fuck is wrong with me? You better take back that last part. When did I become. <laughs> when did I ever come after you? <laughs> huh? Hey, you say you ain't getting mad. <laughs> now she's just crying all over the place. Crap. There's no way I can leave her alone when she's acting like this. Sorry. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Please don't cry anymore. Uh, if you're really sorry, can you buy me a thing I like? Uh, what the hell, man? Fine. What do I have to buy you? Uh, it's shaped like a star, and it's small, and it's cute, and it's sweet. She's probably talking about candy. So you just want candy, right? I wonder if I saw any star-shaped ones. Hey! Wrong! It's not something that boring, really. <laughs> it's smaller and cuter than normal candy. Okay, alright. She's probably thinking about crumpets. No, confesto? Is that what that is? Confisto. What the fuck is that? Uh, do you mean com confettio? Hey, <laughs> Hayako nods si silently. Uh, at least you stopped crying. Then, do you want me to go buy it right now? Jeez. Just so you know, you won't find that in a supermarket. Really? Yes. Jeez, Hajime, man, you're such a fucking pushover. You totally promised me without realizing it. It was impossible, and you even got tricked by a fake crying. Now you definitely weren't faking those tears. You, you fucking lying ass bitch. <laughs> Jeez, you're so hopeless. I guess I'll go easy on you and make you bring me something else. Let's see, go steal Sonya's panties from me. What? Are you trying to make me a criminal? Bitch, 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 bring me guns. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, Hayako's now one of my favorites. <laughs> bitch, you better bring me my damn money. Anyways, bring me Gundam's earrings then. Hey, you better steal it. I don't want you borrowing it. You don't really want it, do you? You're just trying to make me suffer. Just let me bring you a different snack. I'll get you something you like. Why? No, but they don't have anything cuter there. I gotta have something cute like flowers, candies, made from refined Japanese sugar. You spoiled little fucking Brett. There's no way you can get back those kind of traditional candies here. And, but, uh... Just as I thought, you really do like traditional Japanese candy, huh? Hey, hey. Well, it's so elaborate, elaborately made that it's part, particularly art. I can't speak. They're so small and sparkly and cute. I love them so much. <laughs> Foreign sweets are made with too much sugar, so they're perfect for uncultured idiots. Oh, homeboy is fronting on my fucking... Homegirl, my bad. Homegirl's fronting on my Twix bars. What the hell is wrong with you, girl? If she said she had, uh, if she hadn't said the last part, I would have been impressed. Well, this is Hayaka, after all. 
I guess I just have to accept it. But I feel like I understand her a little bit more now. That was a fun one. <laughs> bitch, 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 better bring me them fucking earrings. <laughs> no, man. Uh, I hope she survives now. I completely did a 180 just with that experience. I hope she survives. That was hilarious. Anyways, Hayako asked me to do some impossible things for all day, but the time I returned to my cottage, I was wiped the fuck out. <laughs>